rain, rain. Please go away. Wow. This is my first Italian 258. Genovese Nero, which I say they are saying. Doesn't look too good. All this rain. I hadn't noticed it. Might have been a Breva. Incredibly, it is still very, very tasty. This uh, weather has destroyed a lot of my figs. I can't believe how good that still could be. Um, I don't know if I can even be heard, if my voice is very audible, since it's so loud in the greenhouse right now with all this rain. But we've had a total of 10 inches already, eight from the hurricane, two after that, two days after, and now this, and this is a lot of rain. I don't know how many it's going to be in the gauge, a couple inches at least already. It's just raining, 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 and it's a fig grower's worst nightmare. It certainly is mine because I had so many varieties that were ripening. It seems like it's stopping now. Seems like it's finally stopping. Wow. Bad experience. Hey, bud. How you doing? Well, it's finally stopped. But, wow. Just water everywhere. Jeez. Yeah, I've it's a fig grower's worst nightmare for sure. I, I had many, many figs getting ripe. And fortunately, I was able to eat a bunch of them before the first rain came from the remnants of the hurricane. But since then, I've been having a lot of difficulty, as you can see. My fig trees are flooded, to say the least. Those little bottle caps I put uh, sometimes for the ants I put Toro I'll show that in another video it's an ant killer and the ants feed on it it's a sweet substance sort of like a honey almost and they eat they eat it and they take it back to the nest and it kills the whole nest and it's a great way a very good way it's only borax really so it's pretty fairly non-toxic uh, but it's for the ants, not for us. And it works very well. I never have a problem with ants because of it. I highly recommend it for you. If you're having trouble with ants, there's all different types of remedies. But honestly, that's a simple remedy. I'll show you what I use in another video soon. I'm just saddened because... I've been picking these figs and just essentially throwing them away, salvaging maybe a half a fig or parts of a fig ever since all this rain. Even my 
surprise Smiths. I've had so many get ripe and I've eaten a lot of them before the rains, as I said, not a lot, but maybe a, maybe 18, a dozen and a half or something. Then the rain started coming and the quality is so adversely affected. It's just, it's just the worst thing that can happen. It's such a disappointment to me, but fortunately I've got my trees staggered to where they produce at different times. And I've got a lot of trees all over the place. Take a bite out of this Smith. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Good. Won't be good tomorrow. Hmm. It'd be ruined like the dozen I took off today, this morning. It was just starting to dry out a little. And then this. It's disheartening. Mm. That's good. Well, rain, 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 go away. And don't even come back some other day. That's how I feel right now. I'm pretty disgusted. <laughs> so with a little update from the farm, thanks for watching. I hope you're not getting as many rain showers as I've been getting. It just seems like it's a nonstop procession, one after the other, after the other. It just never stops. And right at peak season. Couldn't that hurricane just have waited a couple more weeks or just never materialize? I mean, why? Why? Why does it have to come right when I'm having the best time of my life? But fortunately, as I said, I've spread out my figs to accommodate this sort of thing. It's something that I advise. And I've got figs growing at several properties, even some at my son's place. And I've got different trees in different stages here on this property. And so I'll have some ripe figs, hopefully, in a week or two. Or before that, if it stops raining, I hope. And uh, I'll be able to enjoy them at peak quality which is my goal always. I just love picking figs early, early, early. And I love eating them when they are at their absolute zenith in taste, their, their peak quality in taste. Well, that's not happening right now. And it's not likely to happen with over 10 inches of rain recently the ground is so soggy that in places when I step especially in the low areas I mean I can just feel the the ground squishing under my feet and sinking those of you that are familiar with this know that when the figs begin to ripen like these are and you get these heavy downpours there's nothing that you can do you're just going to get waste hmm, not too bad by tomorrow to be completely spoiled thank you for your visit Good day.